I met with a casting director who said once, um, like, they have a great respect for the training. And, you know, I remember when I came into the business, um, you know, my mum was a history teacher, my dad's a research scientist. And I thought, these are industries that they both trained really hard for. And I thought, if I'm going to, if I'm going to just get my collar here, there we go. Um, if I'm going to be an actor, I didn't want to patronise the, the uh, industry. And I thought, I want to train, take it seriously. And um, so I, I trained for three years at the Royal Academy. And there is a great respect for that. And I think rightly so. You know, I put myself through a very rigorous training process. And, and it stood me as a process in really good stead for the work that I've done, whether it be theatre, film, or TV. But I remember a casting director saying to me just very fundamentally that there's a real lack of men in America. And even their leading guys are boyish. You know, your Johnny Depp's, your Brad Pitt's. They're such good-looking guys, you know, your Leo DiCaprio's. That there's something sort of eternally youthful and, and boyish about them. And you look at your kind of Eric Banners and your Russell Crowe's and your Mel Gibson's, and it's no mistake that these kind of more menly men are imported from places where clearly we're feeding them a lot of porridge yeah. or just, you know, we're down in the mines, whatever it is. So a combination of all those things and that I, I'm quite sure that we're cheaper as well, that, that all helps, you know? Yeah, you're a Welshman yes. working in the States on, on, a, on a really big program. Yes. Um, what is the public's reaction to you? Um, the American public or the public yeah. back here? Um, I, think a, I think generally it's a, um, a level of amusement if they don't know that I'm American, which is, as far as I can see, a... Um, a job well done. I get to fly a bit more under the radar. Um, Simon is so high profile as an Australian that his, I think sometimes his accent will probably come under greater scrutiny because the, the problem is, is that when you tell someone that you're not American, that's all they hear. You know, I've done, uh, my, my most ridiculous experience recently was I put down on tape for a film um, and they'd seen my reel and it was all American and the British casting director told my agent that my British accent wasn't good enough. <laughs> They're like, his English accent isn't good enough. And they're like, well, you know he's English, right? And they're like, oh, we thought he was American. So in a way, that was like the ultimate kind of like job well done for me. I was like, and we just had to laugh about that. But um, it's also a brilliant get out. If you're getting a hard time from someone and they're desperately trying to wrangle you to see a bunch of people and be like, no, no, I'm not that guy. I look a bit like that guy, but I'm British. So I'm obviously not that guy. <laughs> you know, it's been like, I'm so sorry. I get confused by him all the time.